How's it going guys? Slippery Jim here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Terraria. First time ever playing this game and it is a lot of fun. In the last episode we fought uh, one of the new 1.4 bosses that was introduced, Queen Slime in the Hello, and got some loot off her which was pretty cool. But this episode we're going to use one of our summoning items that we've picked up. The Mechanical Worm. So we've got three of these and uh, we're going to summon in the Mech Boss. Um, that this um, this summons <laughs> and uh, and fight it in this episode. Let's just get rid of this guy here. Um, and I might even end up fighting the third mech boss just to complete the trio. But I want to show you guys something else that I got from a fishing crate, which is pretty cool. And that's this thing here, the magic conch. So if I use this, check it out. It actually teleports me to the ocean, which is pretty sweet. And, uh, yeah, I think if I use it a second time, it should, um, yeah, it teleports me over to the other oceans. So, yeah, quick way of getting to the oceans. This would be really useful early on in the playthrough if you want to get the angler unlocked and stuff like that, I guess. But, uh, now I've got a pretty good pylon system, so probably not quite as useful for me at this point in the game. But, nevertheless, a very cool item indeed. So, um... What uh, we might do to start with, guys, is uh, I'll show you what I did in between episodes. So as you can probably notice, I actually put in these lights in um, in the shaft down to the jungle farm. Been meaning to do it for a long time now, so I put them in all the way down to the, uh, the mob grinder. And uh, another thing that I did, you might have noticed, is uh, I've obviously planted this lava, lava moss over here in the elevator. And I also planted some here in this shaft too, but I decided to remove it because over here, while I was exploring and just making sure there was no uh, biome creep over here from the evil biomes and the, the hello and whatnot, I found this stuff here. And this is actually a glowing moss as well. It's, um, it's a green looking one. Um, I think it's called... What's, where is it? Uh, Krypton moss. Yeah, so I got a little bit of this that I harvested and I removed the other lava moss and I thought I would plant this um, because obviously being a jungle area um, it's gonna look pretty cool if it's got glowing green moss growing in the access shaft here I think. So I'm just gonna plant it um, here and leave it to spread. I think that's gonna look pretty awesome. So yeah, apparently um, there's only one one color of uh, the new glowing moss per world. So I guess we've got the green one. <laughs> the lava moss, um, I think, is in all worlds. But the the, uh, the three new colors, like including this green one, are uh, unique to each world, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll show you guys the other thing that I did. You might notice the background over here. And, oh, God, I'm getting attacked. Oh, no. <laughs> This guy's the worst. He's probably the most dangerous, apart from the probably the mimics, the uh, the bio mimics. Stupid wizard. <laughs> he always catches me by surprise. I nearly died that time too. But anyway, like I was saying, the background walls are actually um, for an ice biome uh, because I've actually been able to change the biome to uh, to an ice biome by putting all these blocks of ice um, underneath. The, uh, the safety box, and that's converted it to an ice biome. So we now get the ice loot and the ice mob spawning in and getting killed by the lava trap, which is pretty awesome. Um, another thing as well, so we can kill these guys super easy and get all the stuff that they drop, which is pretty awesome. Because I've pretty much got, it, got all the loot already that the regular jungle mobs drop here in hard mode. So I want to try and uh, get some of the other cool... Are you kidding me? What the hell, man? This guy spawned in again. That's crazy. He's usually pretty rare. Oh, well, we get two sets of his vanity, vanity clothing, I guess. Um, but yeah, the other thing that I did here, um, and we might get a few of these guys spawning in so I can show you, but... Um, Apart from the regular ice mobs, I also put in some pearl stone over here on the edges of the screen um, relative to where the safety box is. And um, 
basically that from um, what I've been researching on the wiki that should allow the biome mimics to spawn in I've also removed the uh, the wallpaper directly behind where I'm standing here because apparently if you stand in front of player place walls the uh, the chaos elementals will not spawn in um, as you can see I'm getting a few chaos elementals coming now as well um, I think you do have to use an action or move as well um, to get them to spawn in but it doesn't even need to be hollow and you can see I'm getting quite a few of these and these have some good drops apparently not that I've got that much from them so far because I haven't really been using this much I've just been experiment uh, experimenting with switching up the biomes and stuff for this monster grinder so yeah this is uh, this is pretty cool right here and um, another thing that I found is let's just kill this kill this stupid worm <laughs> Worms are, worms are so annoying in this game. Anyway, it's not it's not a particularly dangerous one, I don't think. But yeah, I've also got the Clentaminator down here, and I was playing around with some of the different solutions. So if we take, just to show you guys, if we take, um, say, the red solution. Um, so obviously what that does is it lets us convert blocks into the Crimson. Um, which is pretty awesome. So I found let's just kill this guy here <laughs> So I found if I spray the uh, the ice blocks with the um, with these solutions let's just, uh, let's just Kill these guys right here. I just want to um, clear these guys out real quick. All right Anyway, I found if I uh, if I spray all the ice blocks with the uh, with one of the colored solutions I can actually convert the the whole um, monster farm into that type of biome so I get that type of mob spawning in to uh, to farm which is pretty awesome I might actually put the ammo box down here as well by the way because uh, that will reduce the amount of solution I'm using as ammo for the clintaminator um, let's just rearrange the furniture real quick um <laughs> I want to be able to open this door. That's, that's what I'm trying to work out here. I think that should be okay like that. Um, we'll put the, the fish bowl over there. Yeah, cool. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you guys with this red solution. So if I spray this, um, spray all this ice and convert it over to the, the crimson ice. Oh no, this is, sorry, not, not crimson. I've actually got the corruption, the purple stuff. So yeah, but I could use the red to turn it into crimson, but this in this case I got the purple and I've turned it into corruption. So as you can see the background changes to purple and theoretically I should be getting all of the um, the corruption mobs spawning in along with all the ice ones, the jungle ones and the chaos elementals. So um, and also if I turn on the um, the dart trap um, if there are any mimics sitting out there uh, this should, um, oh, here we go. We got one straight away. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be careful here. Oh Man, these guys usually give me a lot of trouble, but let's See if we can take this one out. Um, I haven't killed a lot of corrupt Mimics So this there's quite a few items that I haven't got from these guys yet and come to think of it I haven't killed a lot of hallowed mimics either. So this is gonna be a good way of uh, farming these guys as well. Hopefully we can pull this off. <laughs> have to be careful here. Sometimes they're super quick and you can't really get away from them. I find, but um, oh, he's just going to sleep every now and then. That's really weird. Usually they, once you um, damage them, they just go, oh, we, we got a dart rifle. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I, I found when I first experimented with the Clentaminator down here, I was accidentally infecting the jungle blocks around me, but... Um, Usually if I just spray directly from underneath the ice block um, It it just infects the ice and that's it kind of thing So oh we got um We got an ice key. That's really cool That's pretty sweet actually. I don't think I've got one of those before Add that to the collection. I don't think we can use them yet um, We have to wait till we kill Plantera I believe I'm not 100% sure on that. But um, let's just take this guy out here. So yeah, that's what I've uh, been doing between episodes, basically. Let's turn this back into regular. 
a regular ice biome for the time being. And, uh, yeah, I haven't really done a lot between episodes. Um, like I said, just putting in some lights and that sort of stuff. Um, and uh, fooling around with um, this, which uh, I think is working pretty good now, actually. Um, I'm really, really, uh, really pleased with this setup. It, it saves a lot of the dangerous um, hunting around underground in various biomes. Um, obviously, there's still risk involved. <laughs> I just want to get those souls down there. See if we can dive in here without getting killed. Let's go back. All right. Nice. So, uh, let's just sell some of these items real quick. And uh, what I do want to get uh, set up with is all my potions and buffs and stuff like that. Um, actually, I'll hang on to that. Um, and then we are going to fight. Actually, we have to wait till night time anyway, don't we? To, uh, to fight the, uh, the destroyer. I think we do anyway. I'm not 100% sure. Pretty sure we have to wait till night time. So we have got a little bit of time to kill. You know what I might actually do after I've sorted my inventory out here? Is I might actually go and look for some more, um... Of those uh, strange plants for the the rare dyes from the dye merchant because I've been really getting into the dyes lately there's some really cool ones and some really rare ones that I really want to get hold of let's just check the fishing quest while we're at it as well okay uh, batfish don't know if I'll bother with that one yeah I'm not really sure if the strange plants grow just in the regular forest type biomes or if they can also grow in the corrupted biomes and whatnot but uh, we'll have a hunt around see if we can find any and just have a bit of an explore um, while we're at it okay it's night time guys and I only found one strange plant on my trip I actually went across the whole surface to the other ocean and only one which was in a cave weirdly enough but uh, anyway, I've been looking at my accessory collection and it looks like we actually have everything we need to make a really awesome accessory. Um, so I'm just going to grab some items here and then we're going to go and, um, and craft it up. And then hopefully we've got enough night time left to uh, fight the destroyer. Um, so let's see here. We use this. Um, so I have to make this thing here. And then we should have everything else we need to make the Unk Charm, guys. So I'm not sure specifically what this protects you from. But I know it does say it protects you from... Um, let's see if we can reforge this to something good here. Hopefully it's not too expensive. Um, I really want to get either... I think it's armored or there menacing that's what I want yeah it's a, it says it protects you from most debuffs so it sounds like something that I would want to be protected from um, let's maybe swap it out for the brain of good confusion for now that is really good if there's a whole bunch of enemies around but um, we'll see how we go because uh, the unk charm looks pretty sweet um, let's collect our taxes real quick. <laughs> I need all the money I can get after that reforging. Um, and hopefully we're going to be able to craft a few more items today that I will want to reforge eventually at some point as well. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we have our Ankh Charm equipped. Let's over head over now to the arena and we'll get set up for the, uh, the boss fight. Hopefully we have enough night time left for this. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Remember, we're playing master difficulty here. But uh, I have managed to get a few half-decent weapons now. So hopefully we're okay. Um, let's get set up. And I want to reset my spawn point. If I can, there we go. 
The nurse is there. We've got the dryad. Let's get these buffs going here as well. Probably don't need the ammo one, to be honest, but I'll take it anyway. Look at all those buffs, guys. That is pretty sweet. I've got almost all of the potions going as well. So, um, here we go. We're going to put down our sentry. And we're going to use our food. Bring it on, destroyer. Uh-oh. He came straight for me. I think the head from my research, apparently the head does just a crazy amount of damage if it hits you. So I'm going to try and avoid that if, if I can. See if we can uh, kill him with some of these tornadoes. These do penetrating damage, so they're actually pretty good for um, groups of enemies. And like, oh, look at that damage, guys. That's nearly 10,000. I had nearly 10,000 DPS for a second there. Oh, no, these little flying things are kind of swarming me right now. But, uh, oh, whoa. Oh, my goodness. That was the fastest master mode boss fight I've ever pulled off. Crazy quick. I mean, obviously not counting King Slime. He's a bit of a pushover, but... Um, awesome. Let's do it again, guys. We've still got our buffs going. We'll try and get uh, an extra treasure bag here. Man, look how much damage that's doing. Oh, it's not quite doing as much as it was before. But there we go. Whoa. Apparently this thing here, th this Tome of Infinite Wisdom is, um, <laughs> is, is the way to go. I'm so glad I did the uh, Tier 2 Old Ones Army to get this. Um, in the last episode, I think it was, wasn't it? See if we can get two sections. Yep. Okay, that's a pretty easy boss fight. That might be a good way of getting, uh, of farming up some gold and stuff like that. Even, um... Nice! So we've got two treasure bags. Very interested to see what we get out of those. Let's just hoover up all the rest of the loot. Um... Turn this off, I guess. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, I can't use the third one because, okay, it must be daytime now. I was going to fight him again because I've got one more of the summoning items left, but um, I guess it's daylight now. All right, let's check out our goodie bags that we got from the destroyer and see what we get. Um, where are we? Okay. Whoa. Crown nose mask, breastplate, leggings, jagged crown nose wings. Great for impersonating devs. <laughs> and we got some hello bars, souls of might. This is interesting though, right? This is a, this looks like, um, look at that. Look at that mask. <laughs> Looks a little bit like a Plague Doctor's outfit. wonder what these wings are like, though. Hmm. So we've, we've got the, um, the flame wings right now. Let's see how high we can fly with these. 390. 390 and change. And if we put these on... 384. So very slightly um, worse than my flame wings. But I really like the way these look. They look pretty nice. I, I do like my flame wings, but... <clears throat> oh, not these. I hate these derplings. Look how much damage it did to me. <laughs> yeah, I do like my flame wings, but um, the one thing... The one tiny little thing I don't like about them is how they look when I'm resting. And uh, I might actually use these as my vanity wings over the top of my flame wings, which will be my functional wings for now. Because these look pretty nice. Plus, they're probably rare, I imagine. Anyway. Oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot I reset my, um, my spawn location. But... Um, what we'll do is we'll head back and uh, let's just um, 
put their spanner down that I picked up. So I think that one's missing. By the way, I removed all the banners for the old one's army because I worked out that they don't actually do anything. They're only um, aesthetic, if that's the right word. They don't actually give you any buffs. So I took down all of them, which kind of sucks. Would be good if they did give you buffs. It would make the old one's army fight a lot easier. So yeah, everyone's having a party now. They're happy that I killed the destroyer for them. Protecting the village once again. Um, Alright, let's see what his quest is today. He's got Captain Tuna Beard. Fair enough, we might actually do that one because that's an ocean fish. If Unless we've got one in here. Doesn't look like it. So yeah, we might head over to the ocean, um, which is basically in our backyard over here. <laughs> And we might try and catch one of these. Actually, I'll probably catch two or three of these tuna beard fish for later. Because I'm still working towards my fishing quest achievements. And there's there's actually one or two items I'm still trying to get from the fishermen that I, that I haven't got yet. Uh, let's just get set up here. And uh, see if we can't catch up Captain Tuna Beard. Oh, we got the Reaver Shark. Okay, I've got a couple of uh, tuna beers. There's a third one, so that should do us. We'll stash a couple in our fishy chest. And uh, we'll hand um, the third one in for uh, our quest completion. See what we get this time. If I can uh, get up here, that would be good. They're still having a party. Okay, we just got some garbage. <laughs> That's all I've been getting lately, is stuff that I've already got. We got a sextant. Um, some, some, uh, some bait. And that's a little bit of gold. I guess the gold is always good. Let's see if we can get up here. I haven't got my um, normal accessories on right now, so it's a bit hard mobility-wise. Uh, I think I need to sort out my inventory right now. I've got... Rather a lot of stuff here. You'd think I would have enough space, but um, yeah, we probably need to uh, do a bit of a spring clean here. I've got some stuff in here I forgot about as well. Um, we can sell that. Oh, this is where I put the strange plan as well. I forgot to hand that in. So we can see what die we get. Okay, what die are we going to get here? We got red acid die. I think that's a pretty cool one. Most of the acid dyes look pretty good. They have a, like a shimmery, liquidy look to them. Um, I, I'm actually using the green acid dye for my hair right now. Um, so yeah, we'll hang on to that. There's some really cool uh, rare dyes that, uh, that I want to get hold of, actually. So we're going to keep trying to get those. I also um, bought a couple of these um, Celestial Magnets. Um, finally, I always was... Checking the um, traveling merchant and he never had them and finally he had them so I bought a couple of those Because I think there's a couple of items we can actually craft with those that are going to be useful for a sorcerer um, And I might actually grab ourselves some mechanical skulls And we'll get ready to fight um, Our next mech boss I also want to do a pirate invasion, but maybe we'll do that later. Because um, I have quite a few of the summoning items for that as well. And I've never actually... Never actually had a pirate invasion. I don't know if they happen naturally or if... I have to, like, do something to trigger them or what? What can we make with this? Mana flower... I think we have one of those. So that gives us the magnet flower. Automatically use mana potions. Well, that's what my cloak does already, though. I quite like the cloak. Um, what else can we make with this? Celestial cuffs. Stores mana when damaged. This kind of does that as well. Celestial emblem. Avenger Emblem, 15% magic damage, increases pickup range, 
for mana. So, how do we make the Avenger Emblem though? Hmm. Maybe, let's have a look if I can make it with this. Okay, yeah, Avenger Emblem, Sorcerer Emblem, and Soul of Might, Sight, and Fright. So they're the three mech bosses, souls I think. So if we actually manage to take out the third mech boss, we should be able to make that and then we can make this. Which looks pretty good. I don't know, it's so confusing, there's so many of these different things that look pretty good, but I don't know which one the best one would be. Celestial Cuffs. Hmm. Yeah. We'll probably make the, um, the Avenger Emblem and then make that other thing um, out of that. Because I think we can stack that with our Sorcerer Emblem. Um, let's put that in there for now, though. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much uh, night time now, so we can probably go and summon our third and final mech boss, Skeleton, Skeletron Prime. <laughs> and uh, I usually struggle with Skeletron, at least, especially the, um, let's just make some, some of these dies up here. Especially in Master Difficulty. I'm getting quite a collection of dies going now, which is pretty awesome. I think you can mix these dies and turn them into other dies as well. It's pretty cool. Um, okay, anyway. I think we have all of the buff potions that we're going to need. Let's just um, put the mechanical parts in here. So I think we need one more mechanical part to craft those three together into a minecart. Um, let's grab those. We've actually got a lantern night happening here because I think that's because we killed um, the destroyer last night. <laughs> How awesome does this look? Pretty sweet. Alright, let's zoom out for this fight because uh, I want to see what's going on. Let's get all our buffs going. Um, put these uh, Nimbus Clouds up. Probably nice and high. Because this fight's usually, usually uh, pretty high in the sky that you fly. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Let's turn the hearts on. Um, and we'll get ready. Get set up here. I think we're just about good to go. Let's resummon these guys. And uh, fight is on. Oh boy. I'm so glad I don't have to aim with this thing. <laughs> okay, let's just try and avoid his many appendages here. Damn, this is a... Oh, no! Oh, what? I was doing so well. He stunlocked me with his head. I got stuck on that... Uh, that um, platform there. Not, not platform, but... Um, stone blocks. Dang it. It's one of the drawbacks of the design of this arena. There's a few solid blocks that kind of can throw you off sometimes. Uh, okay, back to the drawing board, I guess. There's, uh, there's our first attempt. An abject failure. And, uh, but we're going to try again. I think, I mean, we got halfway there. I just have to be a little bit more careful this time. Not to get trapped because... Um, as long as we don't get trapped by that head... I just have to be careful because, yeah, this 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 attack right here where he does that spinning thing, that's what I have to watch out for. 
try and avoid that spiky head of his. Um, oh, no. The, um, the dodge mechanic is so useful, though, with, um, oh, boy. With the, uh, with that accessory that I've got, the Shield of Cthulhu. Tell you what, it's, uh, pretty handy to have. That's why I don't want to get rid of it, um, just, uh, keep the damage up here. I'm doing, like, I'm only doing not even a thousand damage per second here. It's, um, it's obviously going to take a lot longer than the Destroyer fight. This is, this boss is, uh, this boss is a really cool design, though. They've done a great job giving him all these little gadgets and gizmos. Oh, no. I'm managing to avoid most of the damage, though, with those dodges, I think. <laughs> We're nearly at the halfway mark again. Let's not get too cocky, though. Um, oh, boy. Don't get stuck. Go back this way. I don't know if he, if he has any debuffs or not, but uh, we, I guess we have the Arc Shield working in our favor as well. It probably gives us knockback resistance. I think most of the shields do. Not 100% sure though. Let's go. Oh no, that was close. He did a ton of damage to me there. Oh no, let's just uh, let's just use the cell phone here. Oh, he's killed the nurse. Dang it! There goes that plan. <laughs> oh well, we probably still we'll probably still be okay. Try and um, drag him through the Nimbus, the Nimbus clouds. Oh, okay, it's just the head now. It's just the head. I'm not sure if the head can go through blocks or not, but I'm not going to risk getting killed by it, testing it out. So <laughs> I think we'll manage anyway. Where, where'd it go? Oh, stealth attack. Go back this way. How much time have we got? It's nearly 3 a.m. I'd almost say he's so far. Oh, we did it. Sweet. Oh, the jungle grows restless. I'd almost say he's easier than the regular. Oh, we got the trophy as well. Sweet. They are so rare. I think I've only got two two or three of those trophies so far. Oh, we got another dev set. That's two in a row, isn't it? Uh, Skiff's... Skiff's paws. Are these wings? They are. Whoa. They are really weird looking. I guess they're meant to be some sort of... Uh, some sort of polar bear arms type thing. <laughs> I don't think I like those as much as the other ones, though. We might put these back on. They look really cool. So we got we've got a whole bear outfit. Um, what else did we get here? We got souls of fright. So that should give us all three mechanical souls. The trophy, and I think we got a mask as well, which is pretty sweet. Not that I really wear a lot of those vanity items. Um, mechanical battery. So good. So that's our third. Oh, we got some, some die from that dev set. I wonder what that looks like. Um, let's see what it looks like on our summon. That doesn't look too bad, actually. It looks, I might, I might actually keep that. It looks pretty good. I kind of prefer him looking a bit more solid. You know what I mean? Because otherwise it looks kind of weird if it's just the outline of a bat. Yeah, I like that. That's not too bad. Kind of a two-tone... A two-tone color. Nice. 
All right, well, now we've killed all three mechanical bosses, we should be able to craft some new progression items. Um, so, yeah, we'll, I guess, put the trophy down here. <laughs> and uh, we'll put this... Where can we put this? That won't fit on that. Could put it here, but... Maybe I'll put it on the central column here, because I don't have very many of these. And I might, might put the other couple that I've got here as well later. I think I've got uh, King Slime and one other one. Alright guys, we have ourselves another Floating Lantern Knight, which is pretty sweet. And um, yeah. Looks pretty cool. It's a shame they're so rare. I think you only get them when you defeat a boss for the first time in the game. It'd be cool if you, you could uh, have a monolith for the for the lantern effect. But uh, anyway, let's have a talk to our old friend the guide and see um, what we can craft with some of this new stuff. So obviously with three these three mechanical parts we can make a minecart. Which is pretty nice. We've got a lot of minecarts already, mind you. But um, I guess this is going to be a really good one, right? Because we had to kill three Master Mode bosses to get it. Um, and we might actually grab these Mech Boss Souls and see what we can make with these as well. Um, get some Hallowed... Hello, Buzz out of here. There we go. Okay, let's go talk to the guide again here. Alright, Jack. Tell me what I can make with these Souls of Might. We can make Soul of Might in a bottle. Oh, a Drax. Pickaxe Axe. So these both have 200% pickaxe power, but it looks like the Drax is faster. We can also make the Mega Shark, finally. Um, and the Avenger Emblems, which I was talking about earlier. Um, I think I've got a Spare Sorcerer Emblem here somewhere. So we'll definitely be making that because that looks pretty awesome. And I think um, once we craft that into the other thing, I forget what it's called, Celestial something. Um, we should be able to stack that with a regular Sorcerer Emblem. So let's make our mechanical cart. That is going to be pretty awesome. That's a Expert Mode exclusive. The Demonic um, Minecart is pretty awesome as well, mind you. And we might even dye it a fancy color like uh, this one. Um, see what that looks like. It's a bit hard to test it since I don't have a rail around here. But uh, we'll, we'll try that out later. And I might actually go with the Drax because that's faster, right? And it's a drill. It's a drill, but it's also a pickaxe and an axe. So I can actually get rid of my ham axe and just craft a... Uh, a good hammer, I guess, at some point here. Um, I don't see anything too special. Oh, we can make this though, right? The Mega Shark. Even though I'm not playing the range type character, I still wanted to make this because it just looks pretty crazy looking. Um, put these away. All right, we are going to test this stuff out as well. Wait, what is that pink thing right there? Enchanted Nightcrawler. Huh. I've crafted these before, but I've never seen them spawn like a regular critter in the overworld. This is really weird. Let's see what the Mega Shark's like on this thing. It's got a pretty high rate, high rate of fire. Um, I don't know what bullets I'm using. I think maybe the silver bullets. But, uh, yeah, wow, that's really weird that the uh, Nightcrawlers are actually a thing. 
I've never seen them before, so it could be because it's the Lantern Knight that that allows them to spawn. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see if we can find some more of these. See if there's anything else weird going on. I vaguely remember seeing something about fairies spawning. Or, no. Maybe it was the, um, let's just go back and use the, uh, use the pylon. I want to head over to the forest because I know there's some fairy logs over here. Oh, look at that! Quick, catch them! I've been trying to catch these things for so long. We got two of them. That's pretty cool. I think there's also a pink one, but, um, we should be able to make, we should be able to make, um, Fairy, a couple of fairies in jars with those <laughs> might be pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I was I was actually thinking that I um, can't remember what they're called. Ladybugs, I think it is. I thought that ladybugs might spawn during these lantern nights, and they can be pretty cool to get because you can make luck potions with them. But maybe, maybe I'm not remembering that correctly. I don't know. Um, cool. All right. Well, there's another one of those enchanted nightcrawlers. They seem to like this cave here a lot. But yeah. So um, let's put away these uh, these nightcrawlers and some of these as well. And I might actually make some um, some or put these fairies in the bottles, is what I'm trying to say. Um, oh, uh-oh. How did you get in? Those, oh, that goblin tinkerer got killed. It's not good. Uh, yeah, let's make these. Sweet. Um... Hmm. Put away some of this stuff. So I might actually find a spot to put these where they'll look pretty cool. I wonder if we could put one... I've kind of got most of my shelves. I want to keep these middle shelves for machines and stuff. I don't know if we're going to get more machines, but that's what the, those shelves are for. Um, We could... Maybe find a place up in the village for them. Let's go, let's go see if we've got a spot. I don't really want to put them. Let's just get our taxes here. I want to put them in one of the main the main buildings here. I could put them um, on this table up here. Put one of them there anyway. Oh, that looks pretty good. A little bit of light coming off it. To be honest, the pink jellyfish jar is one of the best ones. <laughs> I really like the way it looks. But um, I've got so many of them. Uh, where can we put the other one? I'm not sure where I want to put the other one. But uh, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll put it down in the, um, the uh, monster spawner safety box or something. Or the arena. We'll figure it out. So, yeah. Um, let's just get sorted out here. And I do want to craft that um, accessory as well. Um, let's just put some of this stuff away there real quick. Alrighty, that sorted out most of my inventory. And um, I noticed that the traveling merchant arrived. So I just wanted to see what he's got to see if there's anything interesting there. Oh, he's got the companion cube again. I've never been able to afford this. And I've got um, six platinum. I can buy it. Sweet. This is one of the rarer pets in the game, I believe. It's pretty cool. So I'm a pretty big uh, portal fan. It is pretty sweet to get this thing as a pet. Uh, <laughs> look at that. My very own companion cube. 
got a pretty cool animation as well. I don't know how it flies, but <laughs> I'm not going to ask too many questions. Um, we could probably dye this as well. A fancy color. Let's see what colors we've got to work with here. We've got pink dye. Um, I could make some orange. Let's just craft all these into dyes, all these items here. And then we'll know what we've got to work with. I probably want to move those souls and hello bars out of there as well. I don't know why I put those in there. Okay, let's try a few of these out now. We've got this devs, uh, this devs die. Skiff's blood. Looks interesting. Not quite what I'm after. The mirage die is always a cool one as well. Um, violet. Let's try one of the pink one. <laughs> it's, it's sort of fitting for a companion queue, but I don't know if I really... That's a bit dark looking. Um, that looks similar to the pink, actually. Reflective dye. Ooh. Does this change color? Oh, that looks interesting. So it changes color based on the surroundings, right? I think that's a pretty cool one. It gives it a sort of a shiny metallic look as well, which I like. So maybe we'll keep that one. Nice. Um, Alright, now, I did want to make the um, the Avenger emblem. Now hopefully this isn't going to use... There we go. And then we should be able to use the... Um, oh, I don't have it on me. Let's go, let's go grab the Celestial Magnet, I think it's called. Real quick, what's your quest? Fishron, huh? Underground Tundra. So yeah, I think I've got a couple of these up here. Celestial Magnet. So this should allow us to make the, um, I think it's the Celestial Emblem. From memory. Which gives us magic damage and stuff like that. Um, okay. Now, do I need anything else? I think that's it. Celestial Emblem. So that gives us 15% increased magic damage and increased pickup range for mana stars. So we already get 15% damage from our Sorcerer Emblem, right? So I think these stack to give us 30% total. But I really like the mana cloak though. Um, it's hard to know what to swap out here. The worm scarf is... The trouble is the worm scarf gives me 17% damage reduction. Which is a pretty huge benefit. And I kind of want to keep the Unk charm. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll swap it out for the Sorcerer Emblem because it does the same thing, plus gives me the pack pickup range for the Mana Stars. And we'll figure out if we can get some, um, if we can change things up later. We might add the Sorcerer Emblem for even more damage. I don't know. What do you guys think is the best loadout for accessories for a Sorcerer? Maybe it's situational as well. I'm just going to sell that. Okay, now, what will we do next? So I thought that I would uh, test out my new Drax um, pickaxe axe. And we might find somewhere down the elevator here where we can um, do a bit of mining. Um, after all, we did get um, quite a lot of ore spawned in when we smashed all of those demon altars um, in the last episode, so... Um, we could get some pretty cool ore down here, right? Um, plus, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff um, that we could get from treasure chests and whatnot. Let's just uh, break our way through. Replace that. See what we can find in here. It's probably going to be pr 
pretty dangerous in the hard mode jungle, but uh, we'll see how we go. Let's try and light things up as we go. Looks like just some regular copper ore right there. Put a torch, put a torch down. Maybe I should have chosen a different biome to this because I've already... Oh, what did we just get? Achievement extra shiny. Interesting. I might have a look real quick and see what exactly that means. Minor power floor that has been nearly blessed. Okay. So that's just from mining the, um, the ores that we spawned in, I guess. Um, see what else we can find. What's this green stuff here? I should be using this. Oh, we got another achievement already. Photosynthesis. Yeah, I'm using the Spelunka potion as well. This is going to make it a lot easier to find ores and stuff like that. So I'm still all this stuff out. Chlorophyte ore. It looks pretty cool. It's kind of a green... Green color. There's some more down there as well. Let's just drill our way through here. Release that water. Oh no, there's a lot of... A lot of hornets. Oh boy, this was a mistake. Oh god, they killed me. That was. They swarmed me, guys. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> okay, we are back, guys, and uh, doing a bit more mining here. I'm really liking this Drax uh, drill slash pickaxe slash axe. It's um, it's pretty cool. It's it's super fast. Um, I feel like it doesn't have much range to it compared to pickaxes, but I guess if you're going straight down, which is what it drills for, it would probably be pretty, pretty much optimal. Uh-oh, not again. Oh, no! Oh, what the hell, man? Did my, did my bats go, go inside the, uh, oh, this is going to be dodgy as... Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. Oh, boy. This is going to be... This is going to be a close one. Oh, we did it. Queen B. Defeated again. My stupid bats. They've got a hunger for blood. They just went on a mission inside that beehive and took out the lava, I guess. Let's just clear up some inventory here and put some torches down. Oh, well. We got, we got a bonus treasure bag. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I can see a life fruit through here. I might go and go and uh, collect that because they're actually worth a couple of gold each. And I need all the gold I can get right now for reforging purposes. This is a nice little cave right here. It's kind of cozy. Some more chlorophyte through here as well. I'm assuming this is going to be good for something. There's a lot of these underground trees in here. Um, just put some stuff in here. Maybe get rid of my coins so I don't lose everything if I get killed again. So I've mined my way all the way down to the underworld, guys, and I think thought this is probably a good opportunity to find one of those really long uh, minecart tracks, right? Because there's a couple of them down here that go halfway across the world. And we could try out our new mechanical minecart. I think that would be pretty sweet. So, yeah, where are we? I think there's one somewhere above me here. I don't think this is the longest one, but it's like the second longest one that I've found. So we'll go up and try and connect with the track. I think it's up here somewhere. If I go up here, find a gap. Oh, we've got a gem tree right here. Yeah, this is it right here. Let's try this out. So I did dye this with the Mirage dye. Okay, so this is the edge of the track. Um, now, I'm not going to go full speed. We'll go full speed. Um... On the way back, but we might just travel along because is this just gold here? Or is this 
No, that's just gold. Just regular gold. <laughs> Who cares about gold? But um, apparently this thing has like a laser. A laser beam that it shoots. Automatically. And I want to see how good it is. If we can find something to shoot. Oh, there we go. Uh, did that work? I might have seen a laser beam, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, yeah, that definitely a red laser beam. It, I don't know. It doesn't seem the most reliable weapon, though. I guess it's just a bonus thing. Bonus damage. Hmm. But yeah, it's a pretty cool looking card. I like this. The demonic one's really cool as well. There's quite a lot of good looking minecarts, but apparently, from my research, this is the fastest one out of all the minecarts. So now we're going full speed, guys. Check this out. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Look at the mini map. I'm going, I'm going super fast here. Damn. I'm like the flash. Okay, we got to the end. So yeah, I guess this is a pretty cool minecart. It's probably going to be a keeper. Um, oh boy. I wish there was more... What is that noise? What is going on right now? That was the most terrifying noise. I thought I summoned the wall of flesh. Oh, I got killed. Stupid armored skeleton finished me off. But what was that noise? That's weird. And we're back in the workshop, guys. Uh, I'm going to sell all my bee-related stuff. So we didn't get anything particularly exciting from the Queen Bee loot bag. Uh, just the usual stuff. And it's all going to get sold. Uh, but I should have enough of that green chlorophyte ore to craft something. Uh, let's see what we've got available here. Uh, what I really want is a hammer. 90% hammer power, plus one range. Uh, yeah. That sounds good. It looks super huge as well. Nimble. I don't know if we're going to be able to reforge it too much, but we'll see how we go. Um, let's just see. I might actually prefer to reforge my... Um, this celestial emblem first. Oh, we got menacing first go. That's crazy lucky. Godly's not too bad, right? I don't think that really does anything for the actual function side of it. Um, damaged. Oh no, we ran out of gold and it's damaged. Uh, I'm going to have to do some, um, I'm probably going to have to spend some time, maybe between episodes I'll, I'll grind a bit more gold for reforging purposes because uh, I'm uh, pretty much broke right now. So guys, I've decided to summon the pirate invasion and I thought I would try out my uh, arena volcano trap set up here. So we're going to enable the volcanic destruction. And uh, let's um, let's get things kicked off here. So, get rid of these stupid zombies. And uh, so we can get out without getting um, our brains chewed out. So <laughs> we have our heart um, our heart statue going. The nurse and the dryad are in place here, and I think we're ready to go and summon in the where is it the Part invasion for the first time. They're approaching from the east. So I'm I'm assuming this is sort of similar to the goblin the goblin army, maybe. And theoretically theoretically those type of invasions usually oh is that it? They usually head to the center of the world. Oh here we go, we got some pirates over here. But I think eventually they catch up with you. So it looks like we are getting some pirates. That's one thing I wasn't sure about is if I would actually get pirates over here. Because we're pretty much at the edge of the map here. 
but there's not tons of them. Oh, there's a few underneath here, though. Yeah, this is another bit of a problem with this arena. Like, theoretically, if I wanted to min-max this arena, I'd probably want to fill in all the holes underneath it for a couple of screens. But you know what? I, I really like the... Uh, <laughs> I really like the uh, the rain cloud effect, so I'm not going to fix it up. I could I could fix it there and make it more efficient, but I think this is probably going to be. Oh, we got parrots! <laughs> We've got parrots! I don't know what any of these mobs are right now. Hopefully, there's nothing that's going to completely own my face too much. I'm taking a bit of damage though. Oh no. Yeah, this thing is super good for crowd control. I'll tell you what guys. I'm so glad I got this. Uh, this Tome of Infinite Knowledge. Um, I might actually try and recover some health down here in the safety box. So I'm half dead right now. Oh, we got a little pirate captain coming. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, the, the volcano trap works pretty good with these guys. And I can just come over here and pick up my hearts. It's not too bad a setup. Yeah, I can just chill in here and basically let everything burn. <laughs> Get some good coinage. Uh, what are we picking up here? We've got gold platforms, gold chandelier, gold chest. So everything's gold? Why are these pirates got so much, these stupid pirates got so much gold? <laughs> they just carry gold furniture around on their backs? I mean, I'm not going to complain. I wonder if I could use the medial stuff. The trouble is that central platform. Oh, what? What just killed me? Had my head removed by Pirate's Curse. Okay, so obviously that's an attack that goes through walls. Alright, we're nearly at 50% here. It hasn't been quite as easy as I thought it would be. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I've died a couple of times here, but uh-oh. We we've got a boss. Oh, we got a pirate ship. It's run aground, lads. They've, uh, they've run aground on my, on my arena temple. Hopefully this thing can't shoot through walls. Because it looks like it's going to be pretty easy to take out with the meteor stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the ultimate cheese right now. As long as I don't get attacked by a pirate's curse again. Gotta watch out for that, whatever it is. But yeah, okay, we take out the cannons and uh, see what happens. Ooh, we did it. Is that? Okay. Okay, so that's just interesting. So it doesn't instantly end the pirate invasion when we destroy their ship. I guess these guys are good swimmers or something. Um... <laughs> We're still at 62%. Guess we got some more fighting to do. Which is fine. Take out all the little parrots and whatnot. Pirate deckhands. I imagine this would be a pretty cool fight if you had a pure summoner build. Oh, we've got another ship. Uh oh. <laughs> Look out! It's run aground again, lads. Let's uh, let's maybe put some Nimbus clouds directly above it, just to uh, enhance the cheese, make it extra cheesy. We've got three kinds of cheese right now. We've got the uh, Nimbus clouds, we've got the Meteor stuff, and we've got the uh, the Flame Sentry. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, uh, we've also got the bats. So uh, not that I don't think it's actually attacking. My bat's just sitting there, but whatever. Um, I don't even care. Because uh, we can take out another one of these things. Let's go 
Gotta be just about done by now. I know, got a little bit to go. So we're at 75% right now. I guess a couple of the... I don't know if these spawn based on a timer or at a certain percentage of the uh, invasion. There we go. Hopefully we got some good loot off those. We'll check all the loot out later though when we've... Uh, when we've cleared the invasion 100%. Alright, let's take out the trash. Put some more of these up. I really love that Nimbus. That Nimbus, um, that Nimbus stuff is so good. Pretty much all my weapons right now I'm really enjoying using. Every single one of them. Mind you, I've only got like two or three that I rely on most of the time at the moment. Okay, we're getting close. There it is! Walk the plank achievement completed. We have uh, beaten the pirate invasion, guys. We got quite a lot of loot here as well. Lots. Oh, an eye patch. That's pretty sweet. And um, we'll check out exactly what we got in a moment. But let's just mop up some of the loot here. Grab this stuff out of here. A lot of gold furniture. That seems to be the pirates thing. They like... They're running some sort of furniture, um, sort of, I don't know what you would call it, some sort of uh, furniture syndicate side business that they've got going on. I think we've got a few pirates surviving underneath here. Oh, Blackbeard the pirate has arrived. We must have a new NPC, that's pretty awesome. Go check him out in a second. Maybe I should put some traps underneath. So it looks like he's moved in over here. Blackbeard. What have you got to sell me? You bearded ruffian, you. Uh, ooh, a cannon. <laughs> Bunny cannon. Sail. Pirate. Pirate vanity stuff and cannonballs. 300 damage. I really want to get a cannon and try it out, eh? These could potentially be good. Like, 300 damage. 37 gold. I'm so short on money right now, but I guess we'll buy it and try it out. Um, and then we might farm some money between episodes. Let's get a few cannonballs as well. I don't think I can afford too many, though. <laughs> we'll get 10 of them. Uh, yeah, the rest of the stuff, I don't know. Looks like the uh, bunny cannon is just more expensive. I don't know if it's functionally different. Um. Okay, let's, um, let's see. Where will we test out the cannons? Um, maybe over at the arena. Before we do that, though, I've got one of these pinwheel things. Thought I might put it up here instead of the, um, instead of the, uh, weather vane. Get rid of this. It always looks like it's slightly off-center, that thing. But I don't know if this is going to be any better. <laughs> Okay, I've set up the cannon over here at the arena, guys, because I'm thinking that, like, one practical application, if it's any good, could be to use this against the Old One's army, or even bosses, I guess, but I don't know how functional it is. I'm still trying to work out... Oh, there we go. I was trying to work out how to fire it for ages, and it looks like you might have to have the cannonballs in your actual hotbar and click on them. Which is really weird, because you'd think that would act like normal ammo in your ammo slot, but they don't actually go in there, as far as I can tell. Unless I'm doing it wrong. Let's try this again. If they're not in my hotbar, right? If they're not in my hotbar, can I fire this? I think I have to right-click it. It's really awkward to aim as well. Let's try this again. Yeah, see, there you go, straight away. Huh. Doesn't, it's not exactly a laser beam, is it? It's, uh, 
I mean, you wouldn't really expect it to be, but... Let's see what the trajectory's like. Okay, we have to bring it down. Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to be the most practical <laughs> of uh, defenses, to be honest. It'd be good if it was automatic, like a sentry. This would be a sweet sentry if it was, um... If it acted like all the other sentries, but... It's like super manual. Let's see if we can take out that thing there. Oh, 664 damage in one shot, guys! I must have got a critical. Yeah, but I, I just don't think it's... It's probably more of a aesthetic thing. Alright, guys, we're just about to wrap up the episode here. Um, I just came over here to the ocean. We've got yet another... Man, we did a lot of bosses today, didn't we? Um, we've got a yet another Lantern Knight, but I thought I'd try out this black spot. Because, uh, yeah, it's actually a mount. Check it out, guys. So we got this in the Pirate Invasion. We got two of them, actually. And it looks like it's another flying mount. As far as I can tell... Oh, we can go all the way up to space with this thing. It doesn't look like... It doesn't look like it has a cooldown, so... We've got infinite flight with this thing. <laughs> it looks pretty cool as well. Plus, it seems pretty fast. 82 miles an hour. That's some um, sort of unicorn mount speed, I guess. 91. That's going at an angle, though. Man, this is, uh, this is actually a really good mount. It's got a really slow turning circle, though. Wow, this is pretty awesome. So, I thought I would treat myself to a gold bed, um, since we got all that pirate furniture. And... Let's squeeze. We've got some gold chandeliers. Let's see what these look like. Oh, very fancy. Feels like I'm living in a palace now. Um, I don't know about the rest of this stuff. I guess we'll hang on to it. I'll pr I'm probably gonna have to find a chest somewhere to stash all the gold furniture in, because... All my furniture chests are completely full right now. I've even got a gold toilet that I thought I would put down here instead of this chair. Just, you know, I think that might be a good spot right there. Groovy. I like it. Alright, we're definitely going to wrap up the episode in a minute. But before we do that, I thought I would find a die for the, um, the black spot. Um... We'll try the blue acid. Um, see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty good actually. It's fairly, uh, it's a fairly dark blue, like a navy, not quite navy, but I think that looks pretty good for a ship, right? Kind of dark and menacing, but it's got that cool ripple effect as well. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, anyway guys, that is where we are going to leave this episode for today. Um, and we got a lot done. <laughs> We're making some progress, which is good. Um, in the next episode, uh, not 100% sure what we're going to be doing exactly, but I do know in between episodes I'm going to be farming a bunch of money. And I also want to work on just remodeling some of the boxy looking houses, like the beach house and the forest house. So I might do that between episodes, so it's just not a whole building episode. And then um, we might um, figure out what we can do next time. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.